Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Luigi's Mansion Lowest Rank Run. Last episode we went to the armory and did a whole bunch of other stuff. But that's, that's the past. Now is the present. And so, I don't know, Carpe Diem or some shit like that. Anyway, we have a boo in here, so while I search for him, I think he's in here or it might just be a bomb. No, it's actually him! Underboo is making a comeback. Up, up, and away, it is Underboo. Okay, now Underboo. Underboo, I think, clearly based on the underdog. I'm not sure just the phrase. Or, like, I don't know, the fact. Like, the, the stupid superhero cartoon. Uh, this is a new room. Uh, I kind of want to get this guy... Okay, he went back out of there. We'll cover that room after I catch this uh, stupid asshole. Come on, Boo. Work with me. Work with me, Boo. Thank you, Boo. You're, you're so nice. Boo, you're so nice. You make me do a Christopher Walken impersonation. And I'm not even that good at it. Alright, Boo. I'd, I'd really like it if you went back into this room. Ah. I am the Boo Whisperer. I summon Boos to do my bidding. This is an annoying room to deal with in Boos because it's so, it's so segmented. Segmented is a very good word, I think, for this room. Yeah, you got, I'm so good, Boos are just like, yeah, just kill me. I'm so good, Boos are okay with death. Or, um, capture, because they're already dead. Ghosts are, are weird, guys. Anyway, here we have the ceramic studio. As everyone has, clearly. Ooh, I'll take a heart if I can get it. Okay, thank you. Got a whole bunch of jars. Oh my goodness! Sir, you seem to be ahead. Aye, right, what do you think I'm a jar? What are you? Uh, I don't even know what accent that is. I guess it is amazing. But I don't really know about jars. Okay, you can't look at them for free. Got a challenge. I'm fine with ch I like challenge. Alright, we gotta- we gotta freeze him. Basically, this is a little mini-game thing where he will appear in a random jar and we gotta freeze him with our ice. It's not too difficult. It's kinda just like, gotta try and predict where he's gonna be. I- I've never failed this, but... There's always a chance. There's always a chance for failure, as you have probably seen many times over this Let's Play. Don't make me talk about Bulasis. Comes very rapidly, guys. I'm not sure I can handle it. Game's over, Mike. He's Australian, I guess. You got seven of me, boy. Uh, that's not even Australian. Yeah, uh, how c Okay. Dude, your face was already... You're literally bright red. I... I don't get this guy. So anyway, this is an optional boss. His name is uh, Jarvis, I believe. Can't <laughs> get it? Jars? It's very clever. Anyway, random pots and stuff will come flying at you, and he'll randomly appear in one of these uh, jars. You, I don't know. I mean, there are some points where this game just doesn't make sense as I dodge every single pearl. If I can get this guy without any problems happening. Also, there was a ruby there, but uh, that doesn't matter for this run. That went particularly well. That went very well. I'm honestly surprised. Oh, okay. Hold on. I gotta be the most careful here. Now, that's just money, so we don't care about that. We still have those three coins from the other episode, but that doesn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna wait a little bit for all of these pearls to clear, because that's the last thing you want, you know? To mess up this this very good run of Jarvis with some pearls. He's If you're trying for a regular run, he's not even that difficult. He's, a, he's weird. He's just really, really weird. Anyway, he's... Boo's in one of these jars, and it's that one, Tambourine. Um, I can't think of a good thing to say about 
tambourine. You will not get a recommendation from me. Five out of six people find this review helpful. Okay, so I guess Tambourine's plan is to go in between these two rooms, which I'm perfectly fine with. As long as he doesn't make uh, too much of a problem, I'm fine with him. Tambourine, can't we just have like a small discussion? You can't, there's no more rooms on the left there, so you're kind of stuck in this, these two rooms. It, if you realize that your death is, is imminent, imminent. Which one's the one that means soon? Or will happen? Yeah, if he realized his death was pretty much fact, this would be much easier. But that would, that would make this game too easy. Alright, I'm gonna send you the data. I didn't get money, did I? Yeah, no gems. I was scared I got that ruby before, but I guess I didn't. Huh. Alright, and now, I think we got the key in here, and that key led to the basement, as all keys do. See, right there. The the key in the basement. I'm going to do some elite hacks right now, and I can't go between these knights. Don't you hate that? You can't get in between these knights. It happens to me every time. Elite hacks, guys. We're doing some uh, speedrunning tactics, uh, all these crazy things. I think I'm gonna save. Alright, let's keep on going. Oh. Let's go down to the basement. Zip, zop, zooida, boo. I caught you off guard there. You think I was gonna say bop? Huh. That ain't me. That ain't never me. Again, we still have these boos in, like, this room and the cellar. Oh. Uh... I'm still gonna hold off on getting them because, you know, I just, I don't think that would be good. I don't think it's the best time to get them, you know? I'm gonna wait until I have basically this whole area lit up. And then I'll get them. Also, dancing on the ceiling. Because you're dancing on the... I am uh, Lionel Richie. I am the white Lionel Richie. Lionel Richie's black, guys, right? Have you ever had the problem where, like, you assume someone is the wrong race, and then you're, like, really surprised? Because that happens all the time to me. Um, it's actually kind of scary. Also, speaking of scary, got some gahas over here. No, but, uh, let's see, who, was, who did I do with? Oh, for some reason I thought Huey Lewis was black. I don't know, he kind of... I mean... I don't feel like I'm wrong, but I don't know, I just, I thought he was black. Does that happen? I also do this terrible thing where I, like, always picture characters in a book or something as white, unless they, like, explicitly tell me that, hey, this guy isn't white, and I'm like, okay, but, oh, 300, darn, uh, maybe I shouldn't be going for this guy. What? the heck are you doing, boo? Okay, that was fun. This is probably a mistake going for this guy. Yeah, it is. Uh, I'm gonna come back for him as well. Where is the door? There it is. I found the door, guys. I am slightly competent. Only slightly. We have ice from this. Actually, we don't need ice, because I think we sucked him up during that. You can uh, freeze this ectoplasmic stuff and then we go and turn off the water and then a mo and then a monster popped out and it was actually foam but no just like every single game ever there is a treasure behind the waterfall of course except it isn't like a serene japanese landscape waterfall it's a rusty radiator waterfall and of course it has a key cuz well what doesn't? And that leads directly next door. Let's go say hi to our room neighbor, shall we? I can't. Mm, is there. I kind of want to get a heart before that. Oh, oh, crap. That was not a good idea. I'm gonna go get some hearts, guys, so. Uh, I'll meet you back down here. Okay, I'm back, and let's head on to. 
Dun dun dun. This room. Prepare for some, uh, fun, guys. Welcome to my favorite room ever, the cold storage. You see this fire right here? You're gonna need it, cause it's gonna be a fun time. You see these, what is it, stalactites, stalagmites on the ceiling? These will be definitely f***ing annoying. Also, speaking of annoying, we have a frozen guy in ice over here. We're getting hit even before the battle starts. Good signs from here. Alright, we gotta light these campfires. And then, all of a sudden... Okay, I know I am absolutely smoking hot sexy, but I mean, you're being a little abrupt here. You're going to cook? Well, at least make like a filet mignon or something. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, um... This is Sir Weston. As you can see, I hate him. I... This guy is the worst... This guy's the worst boss in the entire game. He's absolutely a pain to deal with. Like, he drags you all over the room and stuff. Like, his entire room is on ice, so, you know, everyone loves ice physics. But yeah, I... I can't stand this guy. He, like, ugh. He drags you all around the room. I, I don't generally, like, hate... Oh, damn, I got a pearl. Well, it looks like I have to stop my rant for now. I mean, like, I'm serious, guys. This guy pisses me off to absolutely no end. I mean, I'm serious. I did um, a personal run where I tried to get the best rank, you know, so the opposite of this. And I had to look up, like, strategies on how to get this guy in, like, one suck. Or, like, up to 90, because I can see a large pearl. So, like, take away 90% in one suck. And it's like, I kid you not, everything I found was basically... So, yeah, you're gonna have to use, uh, this glitch, uh, to even do it. It's just... This guy... I don't even know if I could consider him... I mean, I guess he's the hardest one in the game. Also, I'm waiting for... There was a pearl over there, but it's gone now. This guy's definitely the hardest guy, the hardest portrait ghost in the game. Also, I thought it was standing on that for a second. It's just, ugh. He's so annoying. I hate him. I, I genuinely hate him. That's how much he pisses me off. It's like, two things I dislike in this game. This f***ing guy, and the, the later stage booze. Whatever. <laughs> I just... That almost makes up for it, the fact that Luigi still slides when that happens. And as you can see, that key leads to the last room on the third floor, and one of the last rooms in this mansion. I say one of, because there's a couple of ones we haven't visited yet. Alright, I think I'm going to brave it. I'm going to try for the ghost in here. Let me show you, hold on, just making sure. No, no pearls and stuff. Let's do this. That's a ball. Okay, where are you, boo? You are here somewhere, I can tell, because of... You kind of have to, because of game mechanics. Wait, what are you? Are you in, like, the shelf? I don't... So now you're in that box. Okay, 150, Boulder Dash. Your great ride. Um, 150 actually isn't too bad. Um, I've had worse booze. That sounds bad. Phrasing. Okay. I'm just... I love this game so much, but... I don't know. Sir Weston just kind of ruins this for me. Just ru ruins this later part of the game for me. He's just... He's such... I don't know what they were thinking. Like, I, gen I genuinely question the direction that they went with choosing him as a guy. 
It doesn't really even make any sense. I mean... I mean, with most of the ghosts, you can kind of, like... Either they tell you, or they... Like, you can kind of think of your own... A, a very plausible way in which the ghosts are connected, like... You know, you have, like... I, I assume the main family, made of, like, Chauncey and... Uh... You know, like, the twins and stuff, and all of those. Um... But, and then some of the weirder ones, you kind of have to question, like, what is Mr. Lugs doing there anyway? Is he just kind of like their weird fat friend? We all have that fat friend. I am good because I fulfill that niche. The fat friend niche is a very uh, important one to me that I must fill for my friends. But Sir Weston, I can't think of any reason that he would be in this mansion. I don't know. Was he like, I need a place cold, you have a storage. I'm there. I don't know. Also, is he knighted? Because he is Sir Weston. Does that mean he's British? Can only British people be knighted? Am I cultured? Well, <laughs> all these things we'll find out in next episode of Let's Play Luigi's Mansion Lowest Rank Run as I slowly slide down a, a plank of wood. I'm Rocket Actle, and keep on rockin'.